boxing. The best is yet to come. Let's get it. I'm just me at the end of the day with my flaws and all. The mother ain't lying, y'all. This is me. This is me. Yo, Tyson Fury, Dylan White, Pete Gang. Tyson Fury, Dylan White is Tyson Fury is a favorite, and he should be based on what is what he what he has been doing with his three fights with uh, Deontay Wilder. And Dylan White is sometimes inconsistent. He got knocked out by a older Pivekin, but he did avenge the defeat. But peak game though, styles make fights. Fury has a great ability to make adjustments during the fight. He's very mentally tough, physically tough. Um, he doesn't have the greatest chin, but his stamina and endurance, and his, 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 he got a good IQ. Lately though, if you notice about crop fighters, they got do or die. Like they gonna knock you out or uh, you know usually get knocked out. So that worked against Wilder, but Dylan White has a different style than Wilder. You feel me? He has a different style than Wilder. So all that leaning and he being six nine, he tall, he about three inches shorter than Wilder, but his foundation is a little bigger. So he carry his weight differently than Wilder does. The Wilder is a naturally a skinnier guy. So him adding on the weight, it kind of reduces his endurance. So for Dylan White to win this fight, of course, he's going to have to have extreme levels of endurance. And that's not something that he usually is great at. He's getting tired in certain fights and he and he just be kind of lackadaisical. Even against Rivas, he might get dropped. But it looked like he's taking this fight very seriously. A lot of people was like, he going to drop out of the fight. It's business. They, 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 the WBC allowed him to get jerked on the purse bid. He just he's he probably equal to or bigger than Tyson Fury in the UK, but he get 20%. Come on, bro. That's not even fair. So I get what he's doing, whether you like it or not. And it is affecting their sales, I'm sure. So this fight is gonna be it's gonna be magnificent. It's gonna be really interesting because the thing that um Dylan White does, he uses a left hook. Water don't really use his left hook like that. His is based on a right hand. So he used his left hook though. And Dylan White does go to a body a little bit too. So I'm sure that that's part of their strategy. But it's one thing to have a strategy. Hopefully y'all can hear me. It's one thing to have a strategy. I got like two more clients. I'm on my way to the gym. Let's get it. This is jump weather, baby. Let's get it. But um, so Dylan White is going to make this fight real interesting. Put it like that. I don't got him winning the fight. I'm going to do a official prediction. Uh, this will be my official prediction. I got Tyson Fury winning um, a unanimous tough decision. It's kind of going to be like one of those decisions. I think um, Earl going to beat Ugas. But it's going to be like that. Fury going to win. It shouldn't be too controversial because he can out-endure um, Dylan White. But Dylan White can't hurt him. But I don't think Dylan White, once again, he don't got the stamina to finish him off. You got to have excellent stamina and finishing powers to finish, to finish D Dylan White off. I mean, to finish Tyson Fury off. So I see this fight, like I say, 7-5 uh, seven five, seven five, uh, Tyson Fury. But no judges is going to be from the UK. But if there was, like I said... You can kind of figure these decisions out because Dylan White is, he got some solid power, but if you can't, if you if you don't got stamina and endurance and finishing power, because the thing about Fury, he, he's a big guy, but he gets up, and then it psychologically does something to you, like damn, this motherfucker won't stop, and then he'll bring the fight to you, like he real dead game in the ring, bro. Tyson Fury is real dead game in the ring, and we gonna see who got the most. This is gonna be a battle of endurance. Watch. Just like Lubin and Fundor, whoever got the most endurance is going to win. And, and from what I've seen, Tyson Fury's endurance is way better. But if Dylan White can physically go to consistently and consistently, I'm talking about consistently go to Fury's body, all that endurance, he can weaken his endurance. Miles don't be trying to let you off, bro. It's crazy how people don't be trying to let you off. But they can, he can, he can physically weaken them. So, um... I can see, man, this fight is going to be a nice fight, man. And I'm going to be tuned in April 23rd. The undercard is trash. 
But I'm going to tune into this fight. Who do y'all got winning? I got Tyson Fury, unanimous decision, 8 4, 7 5, in a tough fight. And he's going to have to earn that victory because Dylan White ain't going to just come in there and lay down, bro. He's going to give it his all because this would change his life. He already getting money, but a victory over Tyson Fury would change the course of history for him because it's no rematch clause. It's zero rematch clauses. So that means he can go right into a fight with Ugas versus. Um, Ugas, I mean Usyk, my fault. Usyk versus Anthony Joshua, which he won't be the favorite to win both of those fights, but he would have a shot though. You can't count him out. His comp, imagine being Tyson Fury. If he beat Tyson Fury, his confidence is gonna be crazy, bro. His confidence is gonna be crazy. Like if he beat Tyson Fury, his confidence is gonna be crazy. Six nine, he gonna be like, oh, these guys much smaller. And he, he did hurt AJ in a first fight, but that was like 2015. And then Usyk, he like, yo, his confidence is going to be off the chain, I'm telling you. But the thing with him is, will he consistently train a certain way? Because he be coming in all heavy and, you know what I mean? So I think 240 pounds is the best weight. 235 to 240 is the best for Dylan White. When he get 250, he get sluggish. But 235, especially against uh, Tyson Fury, because Tyson Fury... He might come in at 270 again because he really loving his power. He loving these shootouts. But we'll see, man. But Tyson Fury can't switch it up and make it boring. That, that would be my advice to Tyson Fury. Make it boring. You don't got nothing to prove. You know what I mean? Probably retire after the fight. Usyk and AJ winner. You know what I mean? Just, but no, I'm not hot. No, he ain't lately. He probably going to a war unnecessarily. We see what happened to Lubin, bro. Can't be going those wars. But yeah, that's the final pick, man. This is Trend Set of Boxing. The best is yet to come. Let's get it.